Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. The name of this commentary is, The Executive Branch is Broken. You really must see the Comey Rule, a 2020 series on Netflix. It's a study of the dreadful changes in the federal government under Trump following his election in 2016. It's not a happy movie. It's the story of Trump's godfather-like efforts to achieve loyalty from the people around him. It's a story of Trump's deceit and lies, how he undermined the DOJ and the FBI at the beginning of his term, and how he corrupted, abused and fired so many their officials. There were other federal agencies and officials that suffered the same fate, and we are seeing that even now. Can you spell DeJoy, James Murray, Chad Wolf, and who knows how many others? The techniques Trump used to corrupt the government, and the damage he did to compromise our institutions, was shocking. It involved making patriots into acolytes, loyal only to him. The only criteria Trump had in appointing or retaining these officials was loyalty to Trump, not competence for the office, just absolute personal loyalty. In a democracy that's really scary, as we have seen. Trump created a government of fearful fools, and sadly many of them are still there. Joe Biden has not yet cleaned house or rooted him out. The damage has been incalculable. We know that Congress is broken because of the efforts of the GOP. We know the Supreme Court is broken because of Trump, McConnell and dark money. That leaves the executive branch. It is broken too, so all three branches of our government are broken, and the country will pay a terrible price for that. While Biden is a decent man, he may not be the most courageous or effective president in these difficult times. Regrettably, he is allowing the Trump legacy to continue right in front of our faces. You have to look at this movie to see how profound the damage was, and to understand that it was not short term. You only have to follow the news today to see that Trump's corruption still casts a shadow on the way our democracy works, or doesn't. It will take God to save America. But it will take even God, years to do it. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Mahalo.